Frontier, the only suds with the blue magic whitener, presents... The Fall Window Show. Starring Jerry Mahoney and Chucklehead Smith. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, George, look, really, I, I, I'd love to come over tonight, but I, I can't. Well, you see, I, uh... I promised a neighbor of mine that I would take care of her little girl. Yeah, the mother works downtown in the department store. She's trying to make some money for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I know it's going to be a wonderful party, George. Really, I'd love to come, but I, I just can't. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, George, uh, what's your plans for New Year's Eve? Oh, fine. Count me in. Yeah, I haven't been to a Turkish bath in a long time. <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, make yourself right at home, Elizabeth. That's the idea. Uh, tell me, uh, would you, uh, would you like something to eat? No? Uh, uh something to, to drink, maybe? Are you, are you hungry or thirsty or something? Uh, say, uh, how would you like a little candy, huh? No, thank you, Mr. Winchell. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, would you like to play a game, maybe? How about hopscotch? That's a good game. You have to play hopscotch out of doors on a sidewalk. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, well, then, uh, how about if we just sit here and talk, huh? All right. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> well, how are things? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, what's new? Uh... Anything happening down at school that you'd like to talk about? <coughs> Have you heard any good arithmetic problems lately? <laughs> I'm doing great. Jerry Mahoney, Mr. Winchell. Jerry Mahoney? Now, why didn't I think of that? You don't want to talk to an old fuddy-duddy like me. Jerry's your boy, huh? Well, look, I'll tell you what you do. You sit right here, and I'll get him for you. Uh, Jerry? Yes, Winch? Oh, uh... Uh, Jerry, there's a very uh, lovely young lady would like to meet you. Well, Scotty, what do do do? Uh, just give me a minute to straighten the seams in my socks. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> boy. She's a dan 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 dee. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jerry, this is Elizabeth. Oh. Uh, she lives right down the block. Uh, yes, sir, I know. Uh, isn't she pretty? Yeah. Her mother ain't bad either. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, uh... Go ahead. Uh, be amusing. Uh, yes. A little bit. Uh, tell me, dear. Uh, what's new with the bubblegum crowd? Uh, I've been through that. Oh, you, oh yes, of course, you have. Uh, uh, would you like some candy? No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, would you like some walnuts? Jerry, you know we don't have any walnuts. At the rate this evening is crawling along, we could grow some. <laughs> oh, look, Jerry, I can't think of anything to say to her. Well, let's just sit here and stare. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Christmas? Oh, I've been waiting. I'm waiting for Christmas, Mr. Winchell. Santa Claus will come with his reindeers, and I'll have a big sack over his shoulder, and they'll climb down the chimney, and they'll shout, Well done, they're well flexible. Yeah, and you and know... And the sleigh bells will ring, and the snow will be falling, and Santa will be laughing, Ho, ho, ho! Yeah. And, and you all know, the I... good little boys and girls will be getting presents like dolls, toys, games, skates, and... Well, uh, Winchell, it was tough getting her started. Now, how do you turn her off? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Elizabeth, uh, tell me something. You know, Jerry and I would, uh, w would like to hear you tell us a story uh, of the Christmas Carol. Uh, could, you, could you tell us that story, please? Uh, could you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, would you? <laughs> could you, could you, could you? <laughs> you know, Jerry and I have been looking forward to Christmas, too. Have you really? Oh, you bet your life we have. You know why? Because Christmas means snow. And snow means, uh, Winter. It's snowing. Winter. It's glowing. And the snow is softly falling down around the town. And that's the time to squeeze. <laughs> when it starts to freeze. <laughs> In September and November and December. Just remember winter. So frisky. Winter. So frisky. When your sweetheart comes a-calling. So don't be stalling. By the fire so bright. You'll sit a while and start to squeeze. Her. That's the time to tease her, but it's not the time to freeze her. It's the perfect time to please her when it's winter. Freezy, squeezy, winter time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gee, that was fun. Oh, 
Oh, did you like it? Did you like it? Say, you, you know what else I'd like about Christmas? No, what else? My mommy always takes me to the store of The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Oh, fine. Oh, yes, that's a wonderful story. Do you know the story, Jerry? Why, oh, certainly I do. It's about a guy named Scrooge, see? Well, he was an old sour ball. Shh, 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 please. Let her tell it. <laughs> Go ahead, Elizabeth. Scrooge was a mean old man and hated Christmas. <gasps> well, one night Scrooge fell asleep and had a dream. And in his dream he saw a ghost. <gasps> it was the ghost of Christmas past. Christmas past. <clears throat> Gee, that sure brings back a lot of memories. Huh? Uh, go ahead, Elizabeth. He relived a Christmas that took place many years ago. Christmas many years ago. You know, I remember one Christmas about 20 years back. He saw the whole thing, just as it happened when he was young. Uh, knock off, honey. Winch just looked passage on cloud number six. Mrs. Hill, it was very nice of you and your husband to help out with the ladies' auxiliary Christmas party. <laughs> you too, dear. Oh, gee, thanks, Mrs. Gibney. It's fun. Oh, Daddy, if you need any help up there, in a few minutes, Paul will be here. Paul? Paul? Paul Winchell? He's coming here. I'm going home. Oh, now, Daddy! No, I don't see that I dislike him. He's a good boy, but, well, things seem to happen when he's around. Now, George, Paul's a fine boy. Uh -huh. It's just that, well, he's at that awkward age. Yeah. He came to my house just once. <laughs> but in that brief visit, he managed to sit on my best Nelson Eddy record. Oh. A crack right through the second chorus of Shortening Bread. <laughs> That's typical. And you mark my words, things are going to get confused the minute he shows up. Oh, please, uh, Daddy. Huh? He just came in. Huh? Oh, Paul, we're in here. Hiya, Helen. Oh, watch that beam on the stairway. Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Gee, everything looks so nice at Christmas here, you wouldn't recognize the old place. Hey, Helen. Do you notice anything different about me? Why, no. The braces are off my teeth. <laughs> well, I'm all set to pitch in and help around here. Paul, oh, we're awfully busy around here. Wouldn't you rather go out and play? No, oh, no, Mrs. Hill. I came over here to help. Over here. Uh, let me take that carton, Mrs. Gibney. Oh, put Where? that down. It's full of Christmas tree ornaments. Well, I'm used to handling delicate. Oh, put it down before you drop it. Well, if you don't trust me. Not up there. He'll manage to knock it off. There. Uh, somebody give me some tax. Oh, yes, sir. A tax. Uh, here you are, sir. I have tax right here. There you are. <laughs> they don't make those as strong as they used to. <laughs> Maybe you'd better go home. What? And let everybody else do all the work? Well, that's not the Christmas spirit. Oh, somebody give me a hammer. Oh, yes, sir. A hammer. Oh, no! Right here. Oh, no! I'll come down. Oh, no, sir. I'm very handy with tools, Mr. Hill. Uh, you want something hung up right here? Yes, right All right, there. fine. Uh, right. Just hold it right there. Here, I'll put one little nail right in through here. There we are. Just let me hammer it right in. There we go. <laughs> Well, that looks fine. <laughs> yes, it does, you know. <laughs> George, stop thinking that kind of language in front of the children. <laughs> oh. oh. Maybe you'd better go home. Oh, gee whiz, Helen. You didn't even ask me what I had in here. A time bomb, perhaps. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Uh, I've been studying a course in ventriloquism, sir. And, uh... Uh, well, here. Well, let me show you what I built myself, sir. <laughs> here it is. Uh, this is Louis Lumphead. Can you make him talk? Well, I, I haven't been doing it too long, but uh, I'll try. Oh. <laughs> Hiya, Helen. Merry Christmas. What a weird-looking face. Look who's talking. <laughs> 
Mine don't say she makes mine look logical. No, no. <laughs> no. Now, you say hello to everybody. Hiya, Coily. <laughs> no. Well, he's a pleasant one, isn't he? <laughs> and now, uh, Louis Lumphead and I will sing a song. Uh, by the light. He said delight. He means delight. Of the silvery moon. Oh, yes, the moon. Oh, he said delight. That's very clever, but you know. Uh, we're not we're... through here, sister. Take. Oh. <laughs> That's very clever, Paul. Yes, We've a lot of work to do around here. Now, George, you'd better test the lights on the Christmas tree and yeah. see if they work. Oh, I'll be glad to do that for you. Oh, would you go to that? Leave it to me, <laughs> sir. I know all about electricity. You see, you take this here switch right here, and you, you, oh, here we are. You see, you plug it right in this way. <gasps> oh, all trees have lights. This one is different. <laughs> oh, please. Look what you've done. Please go home, and I never want to see you again. Well, gee whiz, Helen. I was only trying to help, but that's the way you feel about no, it. No! Don't trip over that wire. At least let's try to get the tree standing. I'm not that clumsy, Mr. Hill. Oh, I forgot Louie. Boom! That's okay. Uh-oh. My son's been hiding the evidence again. I'm Irene Manning, and let me show you how beautifully Procter & Gamble's new blue cheer washes towels like this. Cheer, all alone, gets your wash so clean, so white, you don't need bluing or bleach. No bluing, and except for problem stains, no bleaching either. You see, cheer is different. The granules are blue, blue in color. With a blue magic whitener, no other product gives you. That's why Cheer washes clothes so white, you don't have to blue or bleach. Brightens washable colors, too. Cheer's easy on your hands. You'll love it for dishes. Really, Cheer works like blue magic. So try it. Remember, the only suds with the blue magic whitener, new blue Cheer. <laughs> In a childish way, of course. Hey, Lynch, are you still with us? Hmm? Oh, 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 yes. I'm sorry. I guess I was uh, uh, dreaming. Uh, uh, go ahead, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, go ahead and finish the story. Well, after Scrooge saw the ghost of Christmas past, he was still mean and nasty. So he fell asleep again. And this time he saw the ghost of Christmas future. Christmas future. Hey, wait a second. What happened to Christmas present? It's Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future. That's the way it's supposed to... Look, Jerry, will you please stop interrupting? Uh, one of these days, you'll beg me to talk. You'll come crawling to me. You'll see. No, please stop it. Christmas future. Yes. He saw what Christmas would be like in the years to come. Christmas and the years to come. Gee, I wonder what Christmas will be like in the year 2000. Uh, take a breather, honey. Lynch is no longer too in. And if you folks are dying to know what he's thinking about, stick around. Quiet here on the moon, now that the tourist season is over. Yes, when those Earth people come here on a vacation, they carry on like crazy. They're big spenders, though, those fellows from Earth. They don't mind paying five bucks a piece to look through our telescope. What do you show them? The New Rochelle YWCA locker room. 
<laughs> I'm glad we won't be having visitors for a while. I'm oh, so worn out. Oh, great. The more of them. I can tell they're a cheap bunch. Look at that spaceship they're parking. Last year's model. Let's make the best of it, my dear. Welcome, Earthmen. Welcome. Welcome to the moon. Yes. 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 Oh, uh, how do you do? Uh, I'm Paul Winchell, and this is Jerry Mahoney. Glad to have you with us. You like it here. Hey, Lynch, get a load of the outfits on these two. <laughs> this dame could be the cover girl for popular mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Not so loud. Uh, uh, do you have our reservation? Oh, yes. You'll like it here. <laughs> Did you have a good trip? Oh, yes, wonderful. <laughs> you... All right. <laughs> Never mind. Well, Jerry, here we are standing on this luminous planet, thousands of miles away from Earth, a gleaming beacon in the galaxy of our solar system. <laughs> Another Atlantic City, it ain't. You're never satisfied with anything. You'll like it here. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we came up here uh, to find out uh, what sort of Christmas you people Christmas, celebrate. yes. Yes, yes. What's that? What's that? You, 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 never, you never heard of Christmas? No. No? No Christmas? This was all your idea, Lynch. <laughs> Let's take a trip to the moon, he said. Let's take a trip to the moon. Oh, I ought to belt you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, this certainly is a surprise to me. I, I, well, since you have no Christmas up here, I... Guess we might as well go. Oh, no, you don't. You made reservations for a week. You're staying for a week. Yeah, 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 but, but, but look, I, I've got to get home right away. It's, uh, it, it, it's very important, you see. I, uh, I, uh, uh, he forgot to put the light out under the pot roast. Yeah. <laughs> You're staying here on the moon. Oh, so you want to be tough about it, huh? All right, you two, don't move. I got you covered with my super atomic Z-ray gun. Where did you get that? Where did we get it? 200 Wheaties box tops. <laughs> Why, this is the most powerful weapon on Earth. <laughs> Buster, up here, that thing is considered an antique. Huh? Now, if you would like to see a real weapon... Yeah, I did, I did. No, uh, You see the eagle on that mountain? An eagle? Uh, yes, sir. Watch! No, I can't! <laughs> Jerry, 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 did he get the eagle? Get the eagle? He got the whole mountain. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, Jerry. It looks like we're trapped. No, we're not. Luckily, I have the interplanetary radio with me. Hello? Hello, Paul Winchell calling Earth. Paul Winchell calling Earth. We're in danger up here on the moon. Interplanetary patrol, come in, please. If you need help in New Jersey, call Big O'Lean. Tonight. Oh, boy. You and your ideas. <laughs> oh, please, sir. Please, let us go back to Earth. Please, we must be there before Christmas. Let them go. Oh, thanks, Buddy. It is not my decision, my dear. We will have to ask the permission of Zumba. Yes, Zumba. Zumba? Oh, uh, yes, Sam Zumba. He's a wrestler on television. <laughs> Why? Zumba is the ruler of the moon. Yes, sir. Master of outer space. Your mightiest monarch of the planetary orbit. Uh, yes, sir. Zumba, we call on you. Up here. All righty. <laughs> Hello, Lena. Hello, Sal. How are you? Zumba! We are thy loyal subjects. Break it up, will you, Dad? I don't like anybody knowing on my knuckles. <laughs> uh, hello. How do you do? Oh, I... Who are those two? Your Highness, they came Don't turn around. Don't embarrass them. Don't, don't hurt their feelings. Don't but say your anything. Highness... See how you keep looking at them? I ask you not to look at them, don't but you? But your Highness, they... You see how you keep looking? Please don't turn around. Your don't Highness. say anything. You know, it's embarrassing. They ask hey, you many times not to do this it. This guy's ready for the butterfly net. Uh, Zumba. Zumba, Your Highness. Please let us go back to the Earth, where there is Christmas and Santa Claus and snow. Snow? Yes, sir. You mean snoo. 
<laughs> well, what's new? Nothing. What's new with you? <laughs> <laughs> that one will kill you. <laughs> Uh, no, sir. It just makes us sick a little bit. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, we've got to get out of here. What are we going to do? Hey, look. Hmm? Yeah, there's one chance. Okay, and let's take it. All right, you. Nobody move now. Stay right where you are. I got you covered with your own gun. Don't move. Ha <laughs> ha. Moon people, eh? Gee whiz, Lynch. You sure got nerves to steal. Well, it's about time you found it out. Ha <laughs> ha. You thought you had us trapped, huh? Moon people. Ba. And your ruler, Zumba. Ba. What do you say? Zumba, ba. Zumba, ba. Zumba, ba. Zumba, ba. Zumba, 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 ba. And some people think I'm crazy. Goodbye, dears. Have a good time. Well, back to work. More clothes for those twins. But there's nothing like new blue cheer to get them clean and white. So clean, so white, you don't need bluing or bleach. Let me explain. I'm Jean Sullivan, and this is new blue cheer. Cheer is the only sus with the blue magic whitener. The granules are blue. They contain cheer's blue magic whitener that no other product uses. Result? A wash so clean and so white that except for problem stains, you need no bleaching and no bluing. Brightens washable colors too. Try new blue cheer. Great for dishes as well as laundry. Cheer works like blue magic. New blue cheer with the blue magic whitener. Well, you've seen Christmas past and you've seen Christmas future. So let's see Paul and Jerry's Christmas present. Well, boys and girls, it's almost time for Christmas. Time for Paul Winchell and Jerry Mahoney to send you special personal Christmas greetings. So gather around, girls and boys. Here's Paul and Jerry out in the country, and there's music in the air. We're dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. And across the fields we go, la da da napping all the way. We can hear those bells and bobtails ring. They're making spirits right. Whoa! What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Whoa! <laughs> Why, <laughs> no, no, yeah! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great, Jerry. A real old-fashioned Christmas. Oh, boy, <laughs> you said it. Oh, it's cold. It you is. It sure is freezing, I'll tell you that. Well, do you have your earmuffs on? Uh, no, sir, not so good. Well, here, let's put them on. Atta boy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! You have them on nice and tightly? Hmm? Jerry. Jerry, look. There's a bunch of tough kids coming up the hill with snowballs. What? There's some tough kids coming up the hill with snowballs. What? Oh, there's some tough kids coming up the hill with snowballs. Oh, who's got the snowballs? What? Who's got the snowballs? What? Oh, what? Who's got the snowballs? Oh, those tough kids over there. What? Those tough kids over there. What? Those tough kids over there. What? Oh, those tough kids over there. Oh, well, don't worry about a thing, Lynch. I just give them the task word. What? The task word. What? The task word. Oh, what? The task word. Oh, yeah. What's the password? What? The password. What's the password? <laughs> what? Uh, wait. Huh? Oh, for heaven's sakes. What is the password? Oh, the task word is friend. What? 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 Jerry, hurry up, will you? They're getting ready to attack us. What's the password? What? The pa Oh, the password. What's the password? Oh, the task word. Too late. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what were you trying to... <laughs> I was just trying to say, too late. What? What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Fine Christmas spirit. Hey, Winch, what's in it to your box? Oh, uh, 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 that's, uh, uh, 
That's a little Christmas gift for you. For me? Well, let me see it. Let me now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take it easy. <laughs> I'll show it to you. There. Oh, look at those. Oh, Winchell. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, thanks, Winch. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh, heavens. Oh, boy. Look at this one. Look at that one. Oh, it's great. It's sensational. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Boy, this is a genuine old-fashioned set of Christmas bells. Yeah? Sure. Look, uh, we can sing a little song and play the bells at the same time. Oh, boy. Oh, that's just great. All right, look. Tell you what you do. Now, I'll take the low ones, you take the high ones. And I'll be in Roseland before you. Oh, stop it. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Watch me. Jingle. Jingle. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. It is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle, 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 all the way. Oh, what fun in a one horse open from Paul and Jerry after wonderful news from Cam A. News, 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 news. Here comes real exciting news. Ah! There's gold green now in Cam A. There's gold green now in Cam A. There's gold green now in Cam A. New elegance and new luxury. Try a cake and you will see. Ooh, thank you, I will. Boing! There's gold cream now in Camé. Wonderful new Camé, the first and only leading beauty soap to add the luxury of fine cold cream at no extra cost. Camé's velvet soft lather is famous for the finest in complexion care. Whether your skin is dry or oily, you'll love new cold cream Camé. Camé's fragrance is exquisite, so reassuring in your daily beauty bath. Many a lovely Camé bride can tell you. Petal soft skin goes straight to a man's heart. Camé, now more than ever, the soap of beautiful women. Cold cream Camé in the same familiar wrapper is at your dealer's now. Have you tried new cold cream Camé? Get both baths and complexion sizes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our show for tonight. We hope you liked it. Hey, Lynch. Well, oh, certainly. Go ahead. Folks, I'd like to borrow some words from Tiny Tim. God bless us. Everyone. Yes, from Jerry Mahoney, Knucklehead Smith, myself, and all of the gang, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Good night, all. Yeah!